In this problem, we would like to find effective current across each of the resistors. There are so many resistors in the problem. This is 3 ohms, this is 6 ohms, this is 12 ohms, this is 60 ohms. We need to find the current across each of the resistors in the problem. To identify the parts little easily, let me name this point as A. If you look at this, this is just a jump, that means this is the same connection, so this point also will become A. If you call this point as B, there is no, be careful, there is no connection at the junction, there is no intersection at the junction, therefore this also becomes the same point B. So by labeling them with A's and B's, we have understood something. Each of the resistor, look at this, 6 ohms is between the points A and B, 3 ohms between the points A and B, 60 ohms between the points A and B, even this 12 ohms is also between the points A and B. So if you draw an equivalent circuit to this, you can say, if you first start with this, A, 6 ohms, this is the point B, this is that point B. Between this A and B, there is a potential difference of 60 volts connected. I am referring to this. Now I will draw this diagram, this 3 ohms, that is also between the points A and B. Sorry, there is no resistance here. Sorry. So this resistance is 3 ohms. This is also between the same points A and B. Now come to this resistor. This is also between the B and A, 60. So between B and A, there is 60 ohms, B and A. Look at this. This 12 ohms is between A and B. This is A, this is B, this is 12 ohms. That's an equivalent circuit. So if you notice the circuit carefully, from here the current I starts. After coming here, current will distribute across all these. All that currents will join here and join, come back. So it's very clear that all these resistors are in parallel. As the resistors are in parallel, voltage across each resistor, that is whatever the resistor that is there, is 60 volts because all of them are in parallel, 60 volts. Now I want current. So for example, I want the current across 6 ohms. To get this, I can use a formula, Ohm's law. V equal to IR. You know voltage across this being parallel to this battery is 60 volts. I, I don't know. But the resistance between these two points is 6. So what I can say? Current, I can call that as I1 as 60 by 6 that is equal to 10 amperes. Now for example, if I have taken the Next resistance. Now I want the current across these 3 ohms. Again I will use the same formula. V equal to IR. V is 60 volts. I, I2 I want to find out. R is 3. So I2 will be 60 by 3. That is equal to 20 amperes. Now let's go to this 60 ohms. This 60 ohms. I need to find them. Uh, value of the current across it. I will again use the Ohm's law. V equal to IR. Voltage is 60 volts. I3 I have to find out. R is 60 ohms. So I3 will be 60 by 60 that is equal to 1 ampere. Similarly, if I take up that uh, last one, again V equal to IR. V is 60. I is I4. R is this 12, we have to find out across the 12. So I4 is 60 by 12, 
that is equal to 5 amperes. If people have asked you what is the total current is in the circuit, though it was not asked, I am just trying to identify what is the total current is. In parallel current is distributed, so the total current is I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. So I1 is 10, I2 is 20, I3 is 1, I4 is 5. So 10 and 20, 30, 35 and 1, 36 amperes is the total current passing in the circuit. That's how we need to solve this problem. Fine. 